And brothers and sisters, this holiday period, as I said, is a ni'mah, and we need to have this ni'mah plan for our children who are amana in our hand. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given our children as an amana to bring them up according to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's guidance and Prophet Sallallahu tradition. And that is important for us to understand value of the time in our life and making children understand value of the time in their life. And it is a good wisdom and tawfiq from Allah for a person to appreciate value of the time, to understand value of the time, to utilize it properly. This is our main capital in this world, in this dunya, in this hayat. Once a day goes away from our life, a portion of myself is gone away. That is probably sometimes we don't understand. If I think my, one of my teeth is fallen, yes, I lost something of my own. If a finger is fallen, may Allah forbid, then oh, I lost my finger. If somebody's hand is cut in, in chopped because of some illness needed operation, oh, my hand is cut off, finished. I lost something of my own, my own existence. But when a day and go, night goes away from us, the week goes away from us, the month goes away from us, we don't consider something of mine is lost. That's we don't realize. Imam Ibn Qayyim rahmatullahi guided us. He said, Ida'atul waqti ashaddu min al-mawt. Losing the time, wasting the time, not getting benefit of the time, not utilizing it properly, is worse than death. Worse than the death. لأن إذا أتى الوقت تقتوك عن الله والدار الآخرة Because wasting the time will cut you off from Allah and for, from your success in Akhirah in hereafter. والموت يقتوك عن الدنيا وأهلها And the death only will cut off you from the, this world and your family and other people. Which one is big loss? If I am cut off from Allah, then it is a big loss. If I am cut off from the family because my life came to end, I am meeting Allah after death, Jannah is prepared for me, no loss happened in my life. It is full of success. But if I have wasted the time, then I cut off myself from Allah and my destination of Jannah. This, we are always busy, we are always busy, Alhamdulillah, this holiday period came, and it is a ni'mah from Allah, free time is spare time. And we need to have a good plan for that. But men, most of the people will be losing this ni'mah. Ni'matani maghubun fihima kathiru minan nas. Two of the Allah's favors, ni'mah, many people are deceived by them. As-sihhat wal-faraag, good health and spare time. This is spare time, we need to have a plan. Yes, we need to have some kind of free time, not to too busy, but this free time should be a part of our, our plan. And that is that our children are always in the school, college, and yourself is outside in work, business, job, other things. Make your time available in this holiday period to spend with your family, with your children at home. They are amana, you have to bring them ku anfusakum wa ahlikum nara. You must save yourself and the, your family from hellfire to give them right Islamic tarbiyah. This is amana. Kullu mauludun yuladu ala fitra. Every human child is born with pure nature. Later on, the uh, parents will make them either a good, either a Jew or Christian or Muslim or good Muslim or bad Muslim. It is in the hand of you and me, amana from Allah. We need to make them, and this is the holiday time, will give us this opportunity to spend time with them and giving this tarbiyah to them. And, uh, and first and foremost is to make sure our children enjoy time at home. If it is boring, there's nothing there attracting them, then this is disaster. 
how will make the home is not a place to be bored with. It is full of, you know, uh, interest. There is attraction to stay at home. That we should make sure. Allahu ja'ala lakum min buyutikum sakana. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Allah has made for you, from your homes, a place of rest. How children will complain? Oh, it's bored. I don't want to stay anymore. That means there is some problem in ourselves. We didn't plan something to make it is rest for them. They should, be, they should love to stay at home. I don't mean that they will be never going out, neither you will be going out. Take them some time to out, to visit some of your family, uh, you know, uh, relatives, uncles, aunties, to meet them, uh, grandfather, grandmother, to see them. This is good now and then, but the house should be place of rest and interest. And this starts from the family life as well. Husband, wife, parents, between them, relationship should be very good level. And of his signs is that he created for you from yourself mates that you may find tranquility in them. And he placed between you affection and mercy. You need to make sure that, yes, we are human beings. The problem will come between husband and wife. Even Prophet ﷺ and his wife gone through a bit of challenges. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala need to deal with the challenges to guide him, guide his wives. Yes, it will happen. But we need to realize, we need to come forward to have Islamic guidance that we are sorting it out, not leaving it. And children, in the end, if they see too much fighting between parents, they will have, they will have no rest at home. They would hate to stay at home. Because husband is against wife, wife is against hus uh, husband. That fight is very painful for them. They don't want to witness that. Unfortunately, many of us are uh, not thinking that very, very seriously. And children are ni'mah. Al-malu wal banuna zinat al hayat al dunya. Wealth and children are but adornment of this worldly life. That is the ni'mah Allah given to us. Many people don't get children. Even many people don't want children. There is no family life in many of the societies. Society is heading to some kind of individualism. Don't want, need to bother for anybody. So there is no family life in many people's lives. It's remaining single. They have no children. But they have a dog to take care of. Spending time. Morning, evening, you can see. Taking to the park, making exercise. For the, God, for the dog, subhanallah. When Allah has given us this ni'mah of children, so, and this ni'mah, when Allah gives to us, we need to take care of it. We need to, uh, there is responsibility. Ya ayyuhal amanu, hu anfusakum wa ahlikum nara. Okay? Oh, those who believed, save yourself and your family from a fire. That is a Needs ta'alim and tarbiyah. And kullukum ra'in wa kullukum mas'ulun and ra'iyatihi. Every one of you is a shepherd. is responsible for his, and he'll be responsible. He'll be asked for his flocks, for his children to answer what duty he has done towards them. So, our most important one to make sure this house is uh, having peace and rest. And that comes with some kind of kindness uh, being merciful to each other, not to be rude to each other. Children are sometimes, when they are not in school, they will be doing some kind of you know, game too much, and maybe between them they are fighting, uh, some problem will happen, they'll break something. All these are tests from Allah. But if you're too angry, only screaming and shouting to them, that will make them away from us. And that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala likes the politeness to deal with children, we do it with the family member, deal with each other with politeness is very important. إِذَا أَرَادَ اللَّهُ بِأَهْلِ بَيْتٍ خَيْرًا أَدْخَلَ عَلَيْهِمْ الرِّفْقِ In a hadith, Rasulullah said, when Allah wants good for a household, He causes them adopt forbearance, kindness in their dealing with each other, with one another. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Himself like politeness. Himself, he is, he is, a, he is a forbearer. إِنَّ اللَّهَ رَفِيقٌ يُحِبُّ الرِّفْقِ وَعِيُوطِي عَلَى الرِّفْقِ مَا لَا يُعْتِي عَلَى الْعُنْفِ 
وما لا يعطي على ما سواه الله is for forbearance and he loves forbearance and reward for forbearance while he does not reward severity and does not give for anything besides forbearance ان الرفق لا يكون في شيء الا زانه ولا ينزع من شيء الا شانه ان هذا حديث رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم said whenever forbearance is added adopted to something it adorns it it beautifies it and when it is withdrawn from something it leaves it defective problematic and to be kind to others this is a beautiful character ar rahimuna yarhamuhum ar rahman those who are merciful kind nature people will be shown mercy by the most merciful allah and those people have less kindness they are always rude they are cruel they are not polite they'll be missing allah's blessing and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala even praised rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam that his nature is soft is not rude fa bima rahmatin min allah linta lahum ولو كنت فظا غليظ القلب لن فض من حولك by mercy from Allah O Prophet you were lenient with them soft with them not rude and if you had been rude in speech and harsh in heart they would have disbanded from about you your children will be disbanded from about you to keep them together you need to have politeness not harshness kindness sometimes we shout too much when they are maybe making too much noise we shout so you know big shout that is not that allah hates that kind of shouting waqdud min sawtik inna ankara al aswati la sawt al hamir in surah luqman and lower your voice indeed the most disagreeable of sounds is the voice of donkey too much louder voice to make children are uh, stopping something we still adopt the politeness that is more effective more beneficial will make them closer not away from us now concluding this holy day period is near so first of all we uh, give time to them plan for them together family together this family bond should be strengthened this in this period of time having breakfast together try yourself lunch together dinner together and talk about many stories of your past life i found children are very interested to hear what, how was my my you know early life how was my life in back home how my uh, their grandfather grandmother was could you tell us about allah they enjoy it this way you talk discuss with them this is the connection you are making with them they are connected the bond is increased T- talking together while eating and spending time together They're not always remaining home maybe going to visit and going out to see the family uncle aunties just kind of some kind of outing could be done weather is very bad uh, nobody could, could, could go to the outside but if it's good weather you may take some kind some kind of place where they will be uh, feeling, uh, uh, taking a break and uh, also we can plan to take them to umrah in the holiday period all holiday period i know many of the brothers mashallah sisters are going with the whole family to umrah mashallah good idea to save them from the wrong friends going out more is a difficult there is wrong friends waiting in the street and the wrong one is more attractive so the children like those who are more make more fun make more you know even more crime they enjoy it they learn from it almar wa ala dini khalili fal yamdu ahadukum man yukhalid every person is on the deen of religion of his friend so look at who, who is your friend who is your children's friend we need to be choosing for them good friend don't leaving them with wrong friends all people who are drug addict even uh, drug seller all of them from the wrong friends got this habit we need to protect them against the wrong friend and another danger is the social media internet mobile phone all these in their hand they have access to anything and many things 
So don't leave them with their phone, and you are busy with your phone. Their mother is busy with her phone. Back home or here, too much, and everybody is busy with their own device. This is disaster. We need to cut it down. We need to give time to each other. This way we can keep them, we can protect them from many of the you know, ills of the society. So, uh, this, uh, another issue, when they are not close to us, if they go through some kind of problem, they will not share with us. I was in Janaza uh, t last week in Garden of Peace. The director, I was having a discussion with him, he said, within last one month, he need to bury three young people, they took their life. Suicide. Why? Some of them are so-called love affairs, parents not and did not agree. And there is no understanding. And then the parents are crying, crying. We didn't know. My son, my daughter is suffering that much. He, she did not share with us. Why this gap? We need to be close to them. May Allah forbid if your son, your daughter say, I love so and so, I want to marry him or her. He may share with you before anyone. You need to give this kind of room and space and connection and confidence. Don't leave for anybody else. And many of us, children are getting growing and they, we need to watch them, we need to in, in close touch with them. They want to get married, we say, no, no, not yet, not yet. And then when they are somewhere engaged, we are never happy with this family you don't like, this girl you don't like, this background you don't like. But they like so much, they cannot come out. They cannot come out. And that's why many of the cases of, you know, he's saying, this so-called love affairs, love affairs. So, disconnection and distance between parents and children is a disaster. A whole society, the modern society, is heading to that direction. Individualism, no family carrying. So, ourself, our deen, is with our family. That is number one agenda in our life. Allah, our job, our business, we consider number one, no. Number one, ku anfusakum wa ahlikum, nara. Job, uh, we need that. Business, we need that. But that would be number two. Number one, our family. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserve our family, our children. ربنا هب لنا من أزواجنا ذرياتنا قرة عين وجعلنا للمتقين إماما. الحمد لله الذي من علينا بالإسلام ومن علينا بدين الدين بدينه القويم والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد. عباد الله اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تمتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون. brothers and sisters, there is some winter program taking place in many of the Islamic center and masajid. Make sure your children are attending those talks. We have here from today and tomorrow and Monday many talks in English and Bangla for men and for brothers and sisters for the younger generation. Please try to know which program uh, for your children to bring them here and which program for yourself, I please attend that to learn many of these talabul ilm faridatun ala kulli muslim. Learning the knowledge about the deen is obligation upon us. It is obligatory. It's not nafal. And this winter time is a good opportunity to pray further with them. Wake up, make your, your child is waking up to pray further on time. As much as nearby, take him to the masjid. And all salat in jama'ah. Make them, they, they do revision of the surah they have memorized. When they came to attend evening madrasa or weekend school, they memorized 10 surah, 20 surah, 30 surah. Now they are all forgetting. They need revision. Please, it is your duty. Don't live with the children, with the teacher. He done his job. Now you finish, you paid him, khalas, your job is done now. Carry on with him. Do revision. Sit down together. Reciting Quran a portion every day. This is, this is the holiday time. Other day they will not have this time. They will be going... Uh, to school and college. Now is the time to have this time for them. Winter time, if they are, mashallah, teenager, make them their fasting, 
نفل فاسٹنگ مان دیان تھرز ہے اساو مفی شتا الغنیمۃ البارده فاسٹنگ ان دا یو نو ونٹر منتھ دا نفل فاسٹنگ از ا کولڈ بوٹی از سو ایزی اول دیس گڈ پریکٹس وی نیڈ ٹو میک دیم میک شیور دے ار اول ریسائٹنگ اذکار الصباح اذکار المساء مورننگ اذکار ایوننگ اذکار سو دیر از مینی ڈیوٹیز اینڈ ٹاسکس وی ار اول ان ایور اف دیس ٹاسکس سو وات ول ہیپن می اللہ سبحانہ تعالی گائیڈ اس گیو اس توفیق وصلوا على البشير النذير ان الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا ايها الذين امنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على محمد وضل اللهم عن الاربعه الخلفاء الراشدين المهديين الذين قضوا بالحق وبك ان يعدلون ابي بكر عمر عثمان وعلي وان سائر اصحاب نبيك محمد اجمعين وان الذين يتبعونه باحسان الى يوم الدين وان معهم برحمتك ومنك وكرمك احسانك يا رب العالمين ربنا اتنا في الدنيا حسنه وفي الاخره حسنه وقنا عذاب النار ربنا هب لنا من ازواجنا ذرياتنا قرة اعين واجعلنا للمتقين اماما اللهم ات نفوسنا تقواها وزكها انت خير من زكاها انت وليه مولاها اللهم انا نسالك موجبات رحمتك وعزائم مغفرتك والسلامة من كل اثم والغنيمة من كل بر والفوز بالجنة والنجاة من النار واقم الصلاة بارك الله فيكم